just want to do a quick review. I've had this intake for about two weeks, I think. <coughs> two, three weeks, I don't know. Whatever it is, it's been a it's been a while, so I wanted to do a, um, I guess, uh, after install review. I know I reviewed it uh, right after I installed it, gave you my thoughts. And, um, you know, people on the forums were saying that, you know, this short ram intake is going to um, improve your gas mileage. It didn't do shit for me. Um, I really think it's pe in people's heads. I, I don't know. Like, the first three fill ups of the, with this car, my gas mileage went to shit just because, you know, it's a new intake. You want to get into it a little bit, something new. Um, you like the sound. I like the sound. And you're just like, oh man, yeah, yeah, you know, it's cool, it's cool. But you know, after a while you get tired of it, you know, like every other mod, if, if you've been modding cars for a long time, you know, no mods, you know, you, you mod your car and then after a while you get bored and you want more power, you want something else done to the car. For any of you guys that have modded cars, you know what I'm talking about. So it's worn off, you know, it's just an intake, some good sound, no horsepower gains at all, at all. Um, you know, people post dyno charts but i haven't seen one for this car where they posted before and after that was the same day and the same temperature and the same humidity and the conditions were the same not seen it so does it gain horsepower no uh, honestly i don't feel a difference at all in horsepower it pulls the same you know the sound to some people might be like oh man it's fast or whatever but nah in actuality it's not um, like I said, I wanted to hit on the gas mileage. Gas mileage stays exactly the same. Um, <coughs> I've been averaging. With the, I mean, the temperature has been changing. So the I've been before I put the intake, I was averaging about 26 miles a gallon mixed with city and highway. And right after I put it on, of course, you know, it went down. I was getting like 24, 23 because you know I was getting into it a lot. And um, then, you know, after the third fill up, I was just like, okay, let me let me slow my roll and let me actually drive it normally like I usually drive it. And I'm getting, I mean, I just filled the car up not too long, about 120 miles ago. And right now I'm getting 25 miles a gallon. Um, last couple fill ups, I've been getting like 26 to 27. Um, it, it, it's the same, man. You know, some people say, oh, I get a mile per gallon more. That, you know, you know what changes your miles per gallon? Temperature. You know, in the winter months, you get worse gas miles. Summer months, you get better gas miles. Just temperature. Temperature could change it. So, honestly, for the purchase, any short ram intake for this car, I know there's the K and N Takeda. If you just want something that sounds good, make it sound like it's going fast, um, just to clean up your engine bay, because it does clean up your engine bay a little bit. Um, look good when you pop the hood. Yeah, go ahead get it. Spend the $250, whatever it is, and purchase one. And as long as you're happy with the, as long as you're happy, the driver, that with the modification, then it's all good, you know? You know, don't worry about what people say, oh, it's a waste of money, waste of time, blah, blah, blah. You shouldn't have done that. Whatever. But if you're happy with it, why the fuck does it matter? It shouldn't matter what other people think. It's your fucking car. You want to modify it. So modify it the way you want to modify it. And if you're happy, you're happy. Am I happy with the purchase? Yes, I'm happy with the purchase. I like the induction sound of the intake. Sounds good. But I know this car's still slow. I didn't buy this car for speed. You know, if I wanted a car with speed, I would kept my Evo and still mod the crap out of it. But got this car for daily driving. And I just want to do a couple modifications to keep my interest in the car and to... You know, enjoy the car a little bit. You know, I, I don't like stock cars. This is not in my blood. I just don't like stock cars. I like modifying cars. So, my next modification is probably going to be tint or the axle bag exhaust. I'm leaning towards the axle bag exhaust. Um, the Borla sounds pretty good on the four cylinder. So, we'll see. I'll decide. Um, but I really do want tint. But I guess I'll decide here in the next couple of weeks. But until um, next time, guys.